Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, so I managed to get a loss with my Warlock deck. That Paladin had a either a very good draw or a very good deck, and I think I had quite a slow draw. I, this deck has is almost half, almost 50% of the deck is minions that cost 3 or less. Now, it does have the problem, as you saw in that game, that many of the minions that cost 3 or less are one-shot, like they're charge minions with no real attack. And it's possible that I also didn't approach that situation right. I thought that I could force him to do the attacking with his 4-4, uh, and it just didn't quite work out that way. He had enough other tools to get rid of my things that I ended up not killing the 4-4 and taking a ton of damage. But I should also have a weaker opponent, almost guaranteed, just because I lost that game. So I should now only be playing people who have 100% losses, like me. Uh, this is too expensive for now, and so is that. I guess we'll keep the Brewmaster, even though he's much... He's kind of better later in the game, but for now, he's hes a 3-2 for 2. It's fine. Still trying to give me slow minions. I mean, I do have a, about... If half of my deck is very cheap stuff, about a quarter of my deck is very expensive stuff. At least a quarter, maybe more. So that's... Yeah, okay. It's, maybe it's almost half and half. There's just not enough middle, and that's probably part of my problem. If I play him now... Then his the health I gain is kind of wasted. I wonder. As annoying as that is, I think I should do it. Someone call for the doctor. I need to if I don't play a two if I play this, my opponent's not gonna play something with two toughness, or if they do, I can kill it. But if I didn't play him, like, they might play totally differently. The fact that he's out there might stop them from playing some dangerous 3-2 creature or something that they otherwise might have just coined out. So it was worth the shot, anyway. Do some beats, get the loot hoarder. On a later turn, if he's not dead yet, I might attack with him and then play the Brewmaster to return him to my hand. Ah. Use silence to get rid of my death rattle so I won't draw a card from this guy. As I mentioned before, even though this is one of the basics videos, I'm going to play faster for the most part with the... Uh, hey, yeah, give me that. Mostly going to be playing faster with my cards here. Once I have the deck. I just I just run out of breath trying to describe everything, but I've also described a lot of the basic concepts of the game. I can only do so much. I I always sort of try and predict what my opponent has in their hand, and it's much harder in the arena than it is in constructed. I still give it a try. I don't know what he's doing now. No, nope, now I do. So that's a good point. I could have returned... I, after attacking with that guy, I could have returned him to my hand, and then when I played him again, he would have been able to draw me a card. So that might have been smart. Was not thinking of that. Until too late. Because I kept thinking about bouncing him, which is not as good, obviously. And now I'm probably just going to trade him to kill that. But uh, let's draw a card. Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to kill that guy to make way for my Brewmaster, who fights a little bit better. But yeah, it, I think it would have been a lot smarter if last turn, instead of drawing a card this way and paying two life, if I had picked up the Loot Hoarder so I could play him again and get his Death Rattle back. Because silencing him doesn't stop... Like, that silence would go away if he went back into my hand. All his stuff is reset. Unless The only thing is not reset, as far as I know, is if their casting cost is changed by the card that returns them to your hand. Which is, you know, there are a few things that do that. So here's here's a nice one. He, he robbed me of one of my cards by silencing my guy. Well, I can rob him of a card by silencing his guy. Silence. Um, let, let's draw my card first and see what I get. I probably should have done it earlier, but yeah, it, it was unlikely to change my play. And I'm going to kill that guy. I mean, both my guys are left with one hit point, but against a priest, so I know what their cards are, I don't think there's a diff much difference between one and two hit points, unless he has a pyromancer. See, the two damage would have killed them all anyway, so 
no big difference there. It does kind of hurt to lose all my guys, though. I've lost a lot of life so far. So, I think I'm going to start trying to recover that life. Like, this guy, I could play and, and attack right away and be pretty good, but then I'd be losing his surprise value, right? I'd rather save him, play him when I can kill a minion or when I can finish my opponent. This guy is bigger than the Priestess of Loon, which would be nice, and he deals one damage to all their other characters. That I'd rather save in for a time when the Priest might have any smaller minions in play. Whereas I can play her, and I can heal myself the four health, which I'm eventually going to want anyway. And right now there's nothing out there that can attack her, so the fact that she only has four health is not a big deal. Once she's in play, 5-4 is a pretty big creature. It's just not that big a creature for that mana. And look at that, I got, I was able to draw out the priest's uh, kill a large creature spell. Kills anything with an attack of 5 or more. Now if I play a bigger guy, he's safer. So my choice here... If I draw a card, then I can still play this guy in attack, but I wouldn't be able to do much else. Or I could just play this guy, do one day like waste his one damage ability, but have a six six out. I wonder. Um, I'm probably being dumb, but I'm gonna draw a card anyway. See if I get. No, that that works out okay because I can I can play that with the mana I have left. I was kind of hoping for uh, for uh, the tiger or something, like a five cost minion that was big would have been nice, but that's okay. The fact that he can heal himself, I haven't really done any actual damage that's stayed. Like he's just managed to use his ability to neutralize all the damage I've dealt so far. We must cleanse that's not good. He could draw a lot of cards from this thing if I don't get rid of it somehow. <coughs> Which is probably going to be silencing it with this guy. Nope, Shadow of Pain kills a small minion. That's not, not too bad that he had to use that on something that only has one hit point. So let's see, what are our options here? I could play this guy to silence her, and then I could kill her with this. It would only take one damage, that's not too bad. No more cart, because she'd be reduced back to a 1-3 with no ability. So Seems a little excessive. I don't want to attack her with it as it is, though, because it'll die if she's got that plus one, plus one. I mean, I, this would be overkill to blow it up and dr gain three life. Way overkill. I could also kill her with uh, this guy, although he would then lose his bubble. He'd be pretty fragile afterwards. I wonder. I wish I could do the silence and also cast the Bane of Doom. I mean, I could just do the Bane of Doom, see what I get from killing her, and leave this thing alive, but I'm worried about the drawing cards from that. You know what, actually? I could always soul fire her. So many. I'll lose a valuable card from my hand, but it'd be cheap in the mana department. Oh man. Let's see what happens. That's not that impressive. I'll blow that up. The twisting nether, which was very expensive, but I actually almost thought about using it. I get a hit for three and then twisting nether and it looks impressive. Wouldn't really have helped me that much. I have an army of three two minions, so the holy fire, uh, holy whatever, two do damage, do two damage to everything would be pretty impressive right now. Ready for this? Okay, it's not that. Hooray! And he's pretty big compared to my guys, but I can hit for nine damage if I can just keep him from killing these guys. So hellfire would be dumb because it would kill all my stuff and leave his alive, but. Siphon Soul would just blow this guy up and heal me, and I draw more cards, keep on going like that. I could also ignore him and put this guy out and do even more damage. That's nine, 13 damage. I could kill in two turns, but I don't want to count on that. It's better to keep control of the board. It's really good. If your opponent has no minions that can attack, you have a lot more control of the situation. I should have drawn a card first, though. That was that was stupid. If I knew I was going to draw a card afterwards because I didn't have anything else I should cast. You should draw the card earlier in your turn because it just might change your play. You never know. But this is not a bad situation. I have more health 
more cards than the priest. I, I know we have the same number of cards in our hand, but whoever's turn it is will always have one more card. So on my turn, I will have more cards. So I have more actual cards in my hand by one. And I have this big army out, which, if he doesn't have an area spell, is appreciable. Okay, so he's going to overkill one of those and gain five health. Oh, that was what you, when I did the Bane of Doom and it gave me a random demon. You got to see in a, in practice there. That was a flame imp that it gave me, but it it didn't. Do, normally, when he comes into play, he does three damage to you. It doesn't trigger battle cries when they come out from Bane of Doom, so it, it ignores all their drawbacks basically. Would have preferred something bigger than him, but uh, that's okay. So now, so many. I still kind of like to save this guy as a surprise, but technically, like I could do a lot of damage if I put out him. Uh, silence this thing. It, like you can silence something that has no abilities. It's still it's fine. But I think I'm going to play this guy. He gives me more like six six worth of stuff in play with no drawbacks, and I'm going to draw so another card. Possibilities. Do this. So he might come in handy later, but not quite yet. Yeah, we'll do this guy. Still going to keep my uh, my Argent Commander as a surprise. And I'm not going to play the Owl just for a 2-1, because I'm worried about an area spell. If it's any, if he does anything that's not an area spell, I'm not overly worried about it. I'm just going to overrun him. The Frost Wolves stand ready. Yeah, that guy's fair size. Silencing him, he's still a 4-4, four, four, so it doesn't even help that much. That's kind of what I wanted earlier. Um, let's see. Now, if I do silence him, that would bring him into range that this guy could kill him. So it's probably worthwhile in this case. And this guy's also a good-sized minion. Magic shall not save you. I don't have lethal damage, do I? I've got six... If it's anything even remotely close, just take a second, do the math, figure out, can I kill him in any way, shape, or form? I've got 10, 12, plus 4, 16 damage I could do. That is pretty close. But because I got rid of my... And it would actually have been another 3 with this 19 damage. So I was 1 damage away from being able to kill him before I cast this. But 1 damage is not dead, and if he's not dead, then I'm going to play differently. But if you can kill him, at that point, it doesn't matter what so you lose, you just kill him. But I can't do that, so... Do this instead. Because I did use the soul fire on that guy earlier. I'm going to kill that, I'm going to use this guy to kill that, and still do 10 damage. And he's in the same position, if not worse now. Like, he just really needs an area spell to do at least 2 damage as an area. Now, it's actually too late. An area of effect for two damage will kill half of my army, and they're like it kills a lot of stuff. But I'll still have these two guys left. So you'd have to have like a holy nova plus a cheap guy with spell power, and there's, there's just no way. Seems very unlikely he can survive this at all. Yeah, he's probably gonna concede, or he can let me kill him either way. Nope. I don't really have to do anything. I have lethal damage here, right? I, had the, I still had a minion that could attack, so... That one was over. Yeah. So, made it look easy that game, but again, that someone else who, like me, had no wins. So, now I'm back into running. And it should be a little bit trickier this game. Let's see. So we saw that I have a lot of pretty strong minions in there. Like I don't I don't think I have any bad cards in here, but that's the thing. In Hearthstone, there aren't many cards that are bad. Even the cards that you think are bad are usually good for something. Like the Ancient Watcher, right? He's a he's a four five for two that can't attack. He doesn't have taunt, so there's no reason for your enemy to attack him. He's just kind of a useless lump, but he's he's big for his casting cost. He's huge for his casting cost. Four or five for two mana compared to this guy. He's like a two one, but he doesn't do anything. He's useless, right? Job's done. Well, he's not useless if your deck is designed for him because if you silence him, he loses the text that says he can't attack. 
that means he can attack. So second turn, you play this, or say, say you have the coin. First, you play the coin, you get an extra mana on your first turn, you play a 4-5. Second turn, you play an owl, silence him, and you can attack with that 4-5 already. He will easily kill any minion your opponent has out, or you could just hit your opponent directly, because what are they going to do about it? All right, I'm going to play the loot order. I mean, yes, if I played him, I could do two damage right away, but the, for me, the point of the charge is the surprise value. I want to save it, and maybe I can play him and at a time when he's not expecting me to come up with a minion and kill one of his things. Well, that's pretty annoying. So those guys, I, I don't like them, but like he's actually like, look how, look how well they've been doing. Every time someone plays one, they kill one of my guys, because I have weak minions. All right. So I could play this guy and kill him. I could play this guy and just hit for two. It's not that exciting. I could play this, and my opponent will almost certainly just trade his 2-2 for him. That's not really a great trade. The Hunter matchup is a little bit rough for the Warlock, because I'm doing damage to myself with my ability, and then he's doing damage to me with his abilities. I'd take like four damage per turn if we both do our thing. I'm tempted for one turn to do that, though. To get myself another card. Next turn I can play two things that cost two. Which is probably just going to be this guy and this. And if I really have to, I can soul fire something if he puts out something big. So I'm tempted while he only has two damage worth of stuff on the table to take this time and draw a card rather than doing something puny. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to try that. Leroy Jenkins. Well, he's good later, but not right now. If I had taken the Void Walker, right, say I did that and I drew the Void Walker, the 1-3 Taunt Demon, he'd be pretty awesome. This guy doesn't have any abilities once he's in play, he can't get through a 1-3 Taunt. I mean, he'd knock it down to a 1-1 one, one Taunt, he'd take one damage, but he'd be the worst. Okay, so that's not great for me. I mean, that's 3-4 worth of stats that my opponent played for 3 mana, but it's not the worst. I think I'm going to do what I plan, so I'm going to play the Bluegill Warrior, take that guy out, and I'll just play the Swamp Boost, who will either die trading for the Razor Fen Hunter at some point, or my opponent will just kill it somehow otherwise, because it's pretty fragile. If he had another one of those Hunter guys, or Rifleman, then he could attack this for one, and then play a Rifleman to finish it off. It works pretty well. Got more minions out, and again, we're both doing damage to me <laughs> with our abilities. So he's, yeah, it looks like he might be just trying to race me down. Yeah. He was thinking about doing something else. Uh, has he not used his coin yet? I think he used his coin to get that rifleman out so early. Okay, well, let's see. Already up to five mana. I do have to start killing off this stuff. For sure. I'm going to play the Stranglethorn Tiger, and I'm going to kill the biggest threat out there, which is him. It'd be kind of nice to kill this guy because he's tougher, but i got to kill the one that's doing more damage to me. So Hunter has a way to get rid of this, despite the self. There's a Hunter card it's called Deadly Shot that just destroys a random enemy minion. It chooses it at random, and because it's random, and not because he doesn't have to target it, it will, it rolls a die, basically, including stealth minions. doesn't care that they're stealth, stealth stops you from targeting them. It doesn't stop stuff from happening to them. Deadly Shot costs three mana. He's not doing it this turn, that's for sure. So what do I do about this army of junk he's got out there? This thing is very dangerous. It's got to die. Because, you know, like, if the boar dies, this guy gets plus two, plus one. His other guys are not beasts, so it's not as bad as it could be, but normally that's what happens in like a, in a real hunter deck. Every Everything you so kill while the hyena is out makes the hyena days. bigger. Um, so, interestingly... So first, I'm probably going to kill that, right? I could play this guy then and heal this, but then I won't have enough mana for all these six mana minions I have, which are pretty so good. Many possibilities. You know, a ten mana play for late in the game, I could play him, 
and then play this guy. He'd deal one damage to all characters, and he would kill off all this guy as well. But that's such a trivial advantage. So usually, by the time you have 10 mana, you're using him to try and actually kill your opponent. And look at this. I have 14 damage I could do to my mm -hmm. opponent for 4 mana if the soul fires don't discard each other. Anyway, I don't have a lot of choice. I'm definitely going to do this, and then look at the situation. If I played him, it would kill the boar, but leave those other guys out there. I could play him and heal this, but then I wouldn't be able to do anything else good. I could play her, which would heal me for four. It would be nice. I think I might want to save that as a surprise. So I am uh, going to do this guy, even though my opponent can easily kill the tiger now. Just kill him with her. And of course, I left her alive, so he's going to get to play a minion for one mana less. That's pretty annoying. Ooh, the multi shot hurts, because now his guys together can take this out. Multi shot's another random one. It could hit a stealth minion, but he couldn't use it because it, it requires there be at least two enemy targets. Oh, he's doing a lot of stuff. Hunter's Mark is really strong. Costs zero mana and reduce anything to one toughness. Scariness. Okay, so I am way behind in life right now. But an interesting consequence of that... I don't, I don't really want to take any more damage. I'm going to start healing myself with these guys. But I can play this guy for three mana and he's an 8-8. Eight eight. That's pretty cool. I should have drawn a card first. I think I'm going to end up having the mana left to draw a card. I should have done that, but I'm worried. I, I really want to gain health, so I'm actually going to not draw a card. Which may be stupid. This is pretty good stuff. Out. If, I'd, if I'd done it first, it would have been smarter, because then I could have played this guy for one. I would have had more mana to play that card. Like I potentially could have played something even better. This guy is really strong if he had any beasts, but because he's an arena hunter, he just doesn't have, didn't have the beast out. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he didn't play the animal companion first, because then he could have played this guy and given it plus two, plus two, and taunt. That is very strange that he did not do that. I re think I really need to heal myself, but I can silence something that's pretty strong. Is I probably just need this guy to kill that. So many possibilities. Even though this will be able to kill it. Or... Oh, that's risky. Because what I could do, I could use one of my soul fires to blow this up. And then kill her, and then kill that. And then my opponent would have a much harder time hurting me. But I could lose my Priestess of Loon, who is valuable. Or if I play her, then I lose one of these other things that I also care about. Um, let's try this. I am the blade of the god. And actually, I like these cards so much, <laughs> I'm going to draw another card and hope that I don't discard Leroy or the other Soulfire when I do it. Yeah, sure, I don't I, I don't mind discarding that right now. Gotta kill the bear. Okay, that worked. Do I kill that, or do I just hit him, is the next question. You know what? He has very few cards. I'm actually going to kill that. Even though I figured it would be Murphy's Law indicate I was probably going to lose my Leroy Jenkins, which is horrible, but I have such a giant army in play, I realized. These guys can kill him in no time if he can't do anything about it. He doesn't have that many cards, and they are huge. It's worth a shot. Now oh, that's not helping, though. Ah, oh, he's just too big to get with her. That's very annoying. If I take two and draw a card, I'll have absolutely no choice but to use him to kill that, unless the card I draw is something that helps me finish him off, which is pretty unlikely. But if I draw a card, I've still got seven mana left. I could play him and maybe play the card. I can't play both if I do that. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try it anyway. Who knows? Probably a ri it's pretty risky. No, uh, that's not a bad card, but... Looks like I'm going to have to weaken this guy tremendously to do that. I don't like being at 11 health, but this game is going to end very fast one way or the other, and I have all the stuff in play. 
I don't know how he's going to kill all these guys. He only needs to do 9 damage to me now, and if he could do, like, 5 damage and hold off a couple turns, that would do a lot. Is he going to use that to hit me? Or is he going to use that to slow... To, well, he's got to kill this. This is an 8-1. He's got to kill it. I was thinking of this. I forgot that he was down to 1 health. Yeah, okay, you have to do that. But I'm going to hit for a lot of damage. Hit for 9, 12. I need to do 4 more damage to kill him. The problem is, what am I going to draw with this? I haven't used the Argent Commander yet, so that could do it. But that's only a 1 in 13 chance. I've used both Soul Fires. I've used Leroy Jenkins, but I lost him. I what else am I going to get that's going to, ki that's going to hit him for 4 damage? It's basically just the Argent Commander, I think. If I got a Hellfire, then that would kill this guy and hurt us both and also kill this. It'd probably not be a great idea. I'm just wondering if I should maybe I not wonder. draw a card. I'm not going to draw a card. I think it's too... I think my chances of getting something for the, to, to finish him are too slim. At 9 health, he can shoot me. At 7, he needs... Even if this is a... Uh, they have a card that does 5 damage if you have a beast, but it only does 3 damage if you don't have a beast. It's kill command. If this is a beast or kill command, he has to draw the other part of that combo and then hit me for two and then play the beast, play that, and shoot me. I think this I think my best chance is to just play more junk and live with the consequences. I'm even gonna put him out for more meat. I'm gonna silence my Yeti because it has no abilities anyway. So Unless he can do 9 damage to me, it's, he only needs 5 damage from his hand. If like, those two cards in his hand can do 5 damage to me, then he wins. Otherwise, he's probably doomed. As he shoots me, he can hit me for 2. With this, he can kill me in like no time, but there's, there's no way. He, I have too much army. Even, if, even without this stuff, she kills him, and then the other guys do it. But I can silence him anyway. It was getting scary. Like, I had a giant army advantage, but that game could have gone downhill for me fast. There was there were totally things he could have drawn to beat me. But anyway, I've gotten back up to that 2-1 place. I told... I'm sure I've told you, like... I find most of my runs go through that 2-1 position. What happens in the first game? Not that important. I'm usually going to end up at 2 wins, 1 loss. It's really from here on that it starts getting interesting. So we'll see how that goes next time. If you found that useful or entertaining, or if you enjoy cookies, hit the like button, and check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on youtube.com slash demonac.